Hello everyone. This video is a comparison video between the size large or size 2 Lena cup against the other cups that I have on hand. If you're looking for a specific cup, you can scroll down to the description below to see if I cover that cup. If I do, I will include the timestamp and you can click on it to be taken directly to that cup and not have to watch this whole video. I'll also link, include the uh, origins of the cup or where it's said to be um, originated from according to websites uh, and their dimensions um, and if you've seen some of my comparison videos previous to this video um, you'll notice that my list has gotten shorter and that is because I'm going to be destashing a handful of cups um, they're not as popular or they're not questioned about a whole bunch or at least I don't get questions about them um, or requests to do reviews about them so I'm gonna go ahead and de-stash some of them I do have a couple popular brand names in there but if you're interested in those you'll have to look me up on Facebook under Red Herring Inc. or Krabby Patties and you can find those links in the description below as well so the way that I um, do my comparison is I do a squish test and I take two cups and I place them together in the palms of my hands and I use the palms of my hands because I think it gives a more equal or even amount of pressure than if I were to use the fingertips, um, my fingertips and my thumbs. So I place them between the palms of my hands and I squeeze them and I look inside to see which one caves first or caves more so in this case this blue cup here which is the blossom cup you can see that it is uh, touching in the middle and the Lena cup has enough resistance to withstand getting um, pressed against itself so in this case the blossom cup would be the more soft cup I will be measuring the bottom of the cups first and then I will also be doing the rims of each cups. So um, I have in some cups I have two different sizes. I have a size small and a size large and I will compare the two of that same brand together first and then I'll be comparing the two um, size 2 or size larges together so the the Lena cup with the size 2 of that said cup um, there are a couple cups that I only have a small size in so I'll go ahead and compare that and do my best um, I will also compare the Lena cup to the medium large and extra large of the Maluna cups because those are the most um, popular it seems of those and that is a classic firmness so uh, I think I covered everything I needed to say and we'll begin this is the blossom cup size 2 or size large and the rims And that was the Blossom Cup. This is the Cup Lee size large. I know I need to iron that bag and I just haven't yet. <laughs> inside the Lena Cup. And inside the Cup Lee. There's trucks going down my street. <laughs> and the rims and that was cup Lee this is the diva cup size 2 inside the Lena cup and inside the Diva Cup. And the rims.
That was the Diva Cup. This is the Eva Cup. I have a size small and a size large, so I'll go ahead and do those together first. The small is the green. I wish I can swirl these two colors together into a cup. So the insides and the rims. And now I'll go ahead and do the Lena cup and the Eva cup. These are the two larger sizes. Inside the Lena cup, here comes one of my dogs. <laughs> and inside the Eva cup. And the rims. And that was the Eva cup, size small and size this large. This is the Femme cup or Femi cup, and this one is going to be a little odd. Um, the Lena cup doesn't have that secondary rim um, or the line for the secondary rim, and the Femi cup does. It has this hard edge to the secondary rim and then the top rim, and so I'm going to have to pay attention to just pre pressing on this bottom uh, when I do the bottom comparison and also just the very top rim and try not to um, press on the secondary rim. So I'll do my best to give you a good reading but it might not be completely accurate. At least this can give you some kind of, a, um, of an idea. The Femme Cup only comes in one size. So here I'm it's fidgeting, sorry, but I'm trying to avoid pressing on that secondary rim. So inside the Lena cup and inside the Femi cup. And the rims, I might have to fidget here too. And that was the Femi cup. This is the large flare cup. It does not come with a pouch. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Had to move my camera back some. So these cups are the most similar to each other than all of the other cups that I have um, in design. So the inside of the Lena cup and inside of the flare cup. And the rims. And that was the flare cup in the size large. This is the Juju cup or Juju cup. The back of the cups. Inside the Lena. And inside the Juju. And the rims. And that was the Juju cup. This is the Lady cup, size 2. Oops. The back of the cups. And the rooms. And that was the Lady Cup. These are the small and large Lunette Cups. 
and I'm a little out of focus here and a pull back um, and so I'll do the two lunettes together first the blue is the smaller Oops. rolled away from me sorry so the inside of the cups and the rims and now I'll do the large Lena and the large Luna inside the Lena cup And inside the lunette cup. And the rims. And that was the small and large lunette. These are the Maluna cups in classic. So I have a medium large and extra large in this purple. I'm gonna go ahead and compare them um, each instead of comparing the medium to large, large to, to extra large. I'm gonna go ahead and do medium to Lena, large to Lena, and so, so on. So starting with the medium classic. And I'm doing this because a lot of people, um, it seems like these three sizes are the most popular sizes and uh, people question about them quite often. So medium Maluna Classic was the size that was suggested for me um, and it, it just didn't work out. It seemed too soft maybe, but it's not that soft of a cup. So that's the insides. And here are the rims. I live right across from a junior high school and um, the buses are training right now. So there's a lot of noise. I'm so sorry. So that was the rims of the medium. And this is the large in classic. And the rims. And this is the extra large Maluna Classic. Inside the Lena cup and inside the Melina. And the rooms. If I had um, been suggested to get the the larger the extra large, <clears throat> excuse me, the larger the extra large Malunas, I think it might have worked out better for me than the medium as a first try of Maluna. So there's the medium, large, and extra large uh, in classic firmness for the Malunas. This is the medium ruby cup. Medium is the larger of the two sizes that they offer. I don't know if they're gonna get a, a larger cup and why they named it medium. I, I didn't research that, so you can let me know in the comments below if you read why they went with uh, medium for the larger cup. So inside the Lena cup and inside the Ruby cup.
and the rims. And that was the Ruby Cup in size medium. This is the Schoon Cup in size large. Uh, I purchased this in a D stash and I, I doubt that this is the bag that it came with but this is the bag that I received when I purchased it. So the back of the cups. and the rims and that was the Schoon Cup this is the large Sabelle Cup <laughs> They're rolling away from me. Inside the Lena cup and inside the Sabelle cup. And the rims. It, the Sabelle is so soft it keeps rolling away. And that was the Sabelle. This is the Silky size medium. They offer three different sizes. This cup is made out of TPE like the Maluna cups. Inside the Lena cup. And inside the Silky cup. And, oh, I almost forgot to do the rims. <laughs> the rims. And that was the Silky Cup. This is the Super Jenny Cup um, in size 2, or the larger of the two sizes that they will be offering. It's not out at this time of the video. The small is not out at this time at the time of this video. Blah blah blah. I'm stuttering here. So the uh, back of the cups, inside of the Lena cup, and inside of the Gen Super Jenny. And the rims and that was the Super Jenny this is the Yuki cup in size small and it is the medium firm firmness or the uh, gosh I can never remember what the, the name is that they labeled it but it is the medium firmness and again this is the size small so the back of the cups inside of the Lena cup and inside the Yuki cup and also the rims So even being the middle or medium firmness, the Yuki is still the firmest cup that I own. These are a no-name China Chibi brand. Uh, they're modeled after the Lunette and I have seen them being called the Green Donna. So I'll go ahead and do the small, which is this lighter pink color, uh, to the large first. the back of the cups
and the rims. And now the large Lena cup and the large No Name. Inside the Lena cup. And inside the No Name. And the rims. And that was the small and large no name brand. So there you have the comparison between the Lena cup and some of the other cups that I have on hand at this moment. Hopefully I covered a cup that you were looking for. Um, the Lena cup is a fairly firm cup as you can see uh, both in the body and the rim itself. And I heard that the bell-shaped cups are great for people with a low cervix, so you might want to check out this cup if you have a low cervix. Uh, it's a really nicely made cup. The silicone feels really nice and high quality. It uh, feels like it's going to last a long time. So if you have any additional questions or comments, you can leave them below or find me on Facebook. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in more menstrual cup information, cup versus cup comparisons, or personal reviews, check out my channel and please don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.